How are we doing guys? In today's video I'm going to be talking about how to install MVE. If you like what you see in today's video feel free to drop us a subscribe, hit the notification button and maybe check out some of my socials just here. Let's get into the video. First things first you do want to go onto raise mods and download the Patreon. So once you have purchased it you will get a 5M zip file that you'll have to extract and you simply click the extract up there into a folder of your choice. There are a couple of steps you do need to do in order to complete it properly. So please stay tuned and watch and follow the guide. So the first thing is your main package where you'll find all your mods. In order to get your mods up and to download them properly, you need to go into your start menu and find where you are, have got 5M and go into your open file location. And again, you may need to go into file location again. And then you find application data. In application data, you'll see your mods channel and you'll be able to see your folder. I currently have eight installed, and what you simply do is go into your extract and highlight whatever you want, drag and drop. That is it for the mod side of things. The next step is optional add-ons. If you want any brighter lights for your emergency, or gas stations, ATMs, uh, maybe street lights, brighter lights like that, the Halloween packages, stuff like that. You'll find all of this in your optional add-ons and you simply uh, bring it up and then you can drag again into your mods pack. Right, next step is to download the EMB. If you were to go straight into 5M now, it would just turn around and say, what the hell is this MVE? You need to install the installer through your GTA settings now so it uh, talks to each other. The way I do it is going to Steam. You right click on where you've got your game, go to Browse Local Files, and then you'll get up your files from here. Uh, and you've got it open. The next thing is the EMB. So you click on the EMB, and depending on what type of computer you have, depending on what settings you want. If you've got a low spec PC, go for the low, medium, etc., and high. Obviously, go for the ultra if you've got a really high spec PC. Then what you want to do is highlight them all and literally just drag and drop this will replace any files that you've currently already got in there for the same thing but don't worry it is to update it and it is for the better okay now it is time to boot up 5m you've done all the settings if you have done it correctly you will see in the bottom right hand corner eight mod packs loaded or however mod packs that you've actually installed and let's load it up again and see what it looks like Okay, now you are in the game. There is a couple of things you want to do before you get going. So on the NVE website itself, it recommends that you go to your settings and your graphics. And then you scroll down to your shader quality it needs to be very high. And your post effects needs to be ultra. The rest is up to you. This is my settings that I tend to go with that works for me. But obviously I have a different computer to the rest of you. So FXAA on, X4 on, 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 population density off, population verity off, distance scale in about 40%, extended texture budget about 40%. A lot of people load into 5M and go, oh my god, nothing's loading, etc. I always recommend about 40%. Texture quality normal, very high, normal, normal, X2, normal, very high, normal, NVIDIA, ultra, motion blur strength off. In-game depth off, X4, high, high, and that's what I recommend. Now, in the game, you will notice it does look very clear and crystal. When I get into the car, I have downloaded the brighter lights as well. So, I click the lights and you do see them obviously a lot brighter, which is really good. And there you have it. That is today's video on how to... Uh, install mve i will do another one on how to successfully uninstall it but if you did like today's video please feel free to drop a subscription maybe check us out on the other socials and check out the other videos i do have and we'll see you on the next one thank you guys